Welcome. 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 Got to mute that. Otherwise, we hear ourselves. And while we don't mind listening to ourselves, too much is too much. But just enough is just right. And we don't want more than just enough. We want it to be just the right. So what have we learned? We've learned lots of things. Especially about the microphone. That's what we're learning. That's a tricky business. This microphone right here. Yeah, this one. That's tricky. That's very tricky. Got to have it set just right. Having it set just right, that's the hard part. Took a while. I don't know if it's right. You'll know. You'll know if it's right. You can tell me. You can tell me if it's right, and I would know. But right now, I don't know. I don't know. I played with it. I adjusted things. I found out things I didn't know before. Compressors, sound gates, expanders, filters, noise gates. Yeah, we played with all that. Meant to make me sound good. I'd like to sound good. But I don't know if I did it right. I have no idea. No idea. But we do know a few things. One of those things is... i got to talk proper. None oh, of this Australian... Slurring. Slushing. we got to practice. we got to practice. Hmm. How better to practice than read? I'm going to read. i read a little bit. See how this goes. Might go good. Might go bad. Picked up the first book I found. It was Cinderella. Let's hope this works. We're going to take our time. Here we go. Once upon a time. Well, that's a surprise. I didn't know that was coming. There lived a handsome man. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And a beautiful woman. Indeed. They were kind. Gentle. And generous to all. Wow, this book's got it all. We've got beauty and generosity. The man worked hard to make his wife happy. It's a story of everyday life. I can get into this. And his wife loved him wildly. That's not your normal love. This is fantastic love. That's wild love. My goodness. This is a good book. Let's turn that music down. It's getting a little out of control. There we go. We've got knobs and dials. Not a big fan of playing with me knob, but I can adjust that dial for you. Indeed, where were we? A book about beauty. A book about the good things. Still learning our mic. It's hitting the red a lot. Let's let's turn that down just a touch. We don't want it going into the red too much. Maybe if we push it back a little bit. There we go. How about that? What do you reckon? Where were we? A real good story. It was a real good story. They lived in a quaint home in the middle of a beautiful kingdom. Okay, well, quaint. Quaint's nice. A large meadow behind the house provided flowers through spring and summer. See? 
We know how to talk. We just gotta do it. Just can't get comfortable. Go pretend like we're ready. Here we go. It was filled with cheer when the husband and wife had a perfect baby girl. The home became happier still. Okay, well, this is good. Happy home's a good home. Quaint, happy, got it all. They named the baby Ella. And from the moment she was born. This is going to be interesting. What'd she do? She was their princess. Ah. Yeah, that's good. Page one done. True. She had no title or crown. Hmm. Not even a castle. But she was the ruler of her own little kingdom. Oh my. She's already in charge. That's no good. What's mum and dad doing? Who's the ruler? She was just born. She's in charge. Got a family there running. Out of control. Anyway, keep going. Sure it gets better. The forest and meadow were her borders. Oh, she's got borders. That's good. And the birds in the air and the animals in the fields were her subjects. Oh, well. My goodness. She's already got an adoring legion. That's fantastic. Excuse me. <clears throat> no, we didn't fix that. Thought I adjusted the mic so coughs would uh, not show up. Let's try again. <clears throat> no, nope, still showing up. Still lots to learn. That's why we're doing this. So we can listen back. Figure out what we're doing wrong. It's only the way to do it. You hear that? You hear me take a sip? Let's figure that out. Let's try it again. Yeah, it came up a little. It came up a little. Oh, you heard me put it down. What about if I tap the table? Yeah, well, lots to do. Lots to figure out. Where were we? Cinderella. Mmm. Mmm. Spring had arrived in the kingdom. The grass in the meadow was a bright green, and flowers grew tall in their beds. Baby lambs grazed in the meadow, while little ducks flapped around in a small fountain near the main house. Stepping through the front door, ten-year-old Ella inhaled deeply and smiled. What's she so happy about? She's just come home. Probably got chores to do. Oh, well, she's happy. Not going to be playing Xbox or anything. No computer, no Fortnite, no Splitgate. Well, she's happy. Good on her. She reached into her pocket and closed her small hand round the breadcrumbs she had brought from the kitchen. Oh, why is she putting breadcrumbs in her pockets? That doesn't go on in my house. I gotta wash those clothes. Obviously, it's gonna be a lot harder back then to wash those clothes. Breadcrumbs in your pockets. What kind of nonsense is this? Anyway, she was skipping through the house. Oh, ducks were getting excited. Look, I can skip over most of this. I can give you the point. I can tell you the point. The ducks were happy they got some bread. The sparrow was a bit upset it didn't get any. Goats and sheep, they came over. Yep. Ella wandered a bit. Yeah. Oh, she found a duck, a large duck. This one, it says, it says it's a particularly large duck. Not like the other duck. This was the duck. Watch out. I can tell this is going to get exciting real soon. She already found a large duck. Hmm. hmm. Let's keep going. Okay, well. Well, the large duck's trying to take the food from the goat. The goat's not getting anything. And the goat's upset. You know what they named the goat? Goliath. Must be a big goat. Mmm. A gentle laugh surprised Ella. Oh, okay. Who's her mother? Yep. Mother was nearby. I'm watching what she was doing. It says here Ella's eyes are bright blue. 
I'm gonna get in trouble for reading this. Maybe I should do a Netflix and change the main character to something more, you know, universal. Whatever, let's keep going. Oh yes, daughter. I believe the animals listen to you. Yeah, my animal listens to me when he's hungry. He's waiting to hear the sound of foil. Foil in the fridge, open. He wants that sausage. Open that fridge door. Rustle that foil. There he is, dog. There's a dog, just standing there. Drool. Cascading from his mouth. Splashing on the hardwood floors. Yeah, I've always got a mop ready. He's a bit sloppy. Still love him. Where were we? Oh yeah, Ella. Feeding ducks. Ah, oh, something about fairy godmothers. I think you know the story. Hmm. Ella's eyes grew wide. And do you believe in them? Oh, it's fairy godmothers. Just so you know. I believe in everything. Ella's mother replied. Everything. She believes in everything. There's nothing left. She's... Nothing she doesn't believe. I could tell her something. I could tell her a story. She believes it. Ooh. What's going on with that camera? Doesn't like fast movements. We're learning. Got air coffee. We're going to have another crack. Hey, the microphone didn't move. Yeah, I've got a little bar over here. It's telling me what's going on. Yeah, just playing with it. It's good. Got to practice our talking, though. S's. S. 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 I think it's something to do with my tongue. We're working on it. Find another S word in here. G. Yeah, we did that one well. Which is just as it is. Should be. Yeah, look, see? I get a job doing this, read the kids. Probably have to read the whole story without interruptions, but yeah. Let's go. She believed everything. Oh, we've done that bit. Ella heard the sound of hoof beats. Hoof beats. Is that drum and bass? I don't know. Crazy kids in their hoofbeats. Cars driving past, hoofbeats. Yeah, let's keep going. Try and picture these hoofbeats. Clippity clop. Don't you stop. Wiggity whack. The rap is back. Yeah, hoofbeats. Yeah, we can do that. Ella let out a squeal. Oh, she heard some hoofbeats. Now she's excited. I was her father. Aha. Dad's home. Look out. Probably tired. Had a long day. Ella's father was often gone for long stretches. Must do yoga. Tai Chi. It's a long stretch. Oh, he does a merchant business. Ah, so like it's like merchanting. He's a merchant. Probably plays Skyrim. Whatever. Ella's father lifted her into his arms, nearly squishing her in a giant bear hug. She hugged back as hard as her little ten-year-old arms would allow. Then she... Yeah, S's are my problem. S's are a problem. S -s 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 -s. I don't know what's wrong with my tongue. I think it's broken. I got a new one. Hey, for sale. Somebody's got them. Someone out there. We'll keep going. We need a little sip. Double walled insulated mug. Coffee can sit there for hours. Keep warm. Get yourself one. Look at that. No sound from the sip. Gotta be pleased. Gotta be pleased. Where were we? Merchanting. Hoof beats. Dad time. Bear hugs. Oh yeah. Oh, she took in a deep breath and inhaled the smell of the road. 
and dust that accompanied her father. Let me get this straight. Dad's been out on the road for a very long time. Long stretch. He's just come home. Smells like the road. Smells like a horse. Probably has no shower in a week. But that smells great. I like how they make it sound so pretty. I do. I do. It sounds sounds pretty. I reckon he stinks. I reckon he hasn't showered for a while. I reckon he stinks. Yeah. He probably smells. She's happy about it. Look. Good on you, Ella. She loved the smell. She loved the smell. Hmm. I make smells for my kids all the time. They don't love them. I'm not so sure I believe this book. Hmm. Oh, mum's already got a, sh got a bath going on. Yeah, mum don't love it. Mum don't love it at all. She's got that bath going. She knows. She, <laughs> she knows what's coming home. Big smelly old man. Been riding a horse all day. He's home now. Ugh, an itchy nose. Stupid hay fever. Anywho, where are we? We haven't even got through chapter one yet. Hmm. When Ella turned back around, her eyes widened with excitement. Her father was holding out a beautifully wrapped gift. Beautifully. Okay. I can't imagine they had gift wrapping paper back in that day. It's probably banana leaf. Don't even know if they had bananas back in this day and age. When was this written? What age? Anyone know? 1500s, 1600s, 1700s? Hmm. Oh, nothing but a cocoon, her father replied. I found it hanging on a tree. Ella raised an eyebrow. She knew it wasn't just a cocoon. Her father was teasing her. Good one, Dad. Good one, Dad. <laughs> Cocoon. Anywho. Ella unwrapped the gift. Then she let out a delightful gasp. There's that S again. I don't know if I can fix it. We just gonna have to enjoy it. Sultry, sweet sound. It's salubrious. Yes. No. Nah. Can't help you. It's a shave of my tongue. It's gonna whistle every time. That's why we're here. That's why we're practicing. We need the practice. We've got to talk proper. No one likes English. I was more of a mass kind of a person. Mass. They can't even say mass. Mass. Hilarious. Oh, there's another S word. Maybe we can do this without saying S. No. Nah. We're just going to whistle every time. That's okay. Ella's father took it and made the creature flutter around Ella's... I don't even know what she got. Oh, it was a toy butterfly. Ha! <laughs> We're skipping ahead. She's got a butterfly now. Cocoon, butterfly. I get it. Good one, Dad. Heard better. Hmm. And she was slowly becoming... Oh! She's speaking French. How old's this girl? In French, her father explained. That is, un papillon. Bonjour, bonjour. Gérard Depardieu. Yeah, we speak French. Ella repeated the phrase. The words funny on her tongue. Her father had been teaching her French whenever he was home. Hmm, très bon. Her father cried. Très bon. Valez vous donnez-vous, mademoiselle. S'il vous plaît. Oh, yes, Ella. Ella, s'il vous plaît. Hmm. Dipping into a curtsy. What a nice kid. I don't know if my kids ever curtsied. They've never curtsied for me. No. No. I could use a curtsy. Make me feel special. No. Nah, no curtsy for me. Alright. Her 
Father? Oh, here comes a run of S's. I'm just letting you know. There's a lot of S's right here. It's going to be tough. Her father smoothly swept her into his... Oh, got to turn that page. Arms. And they began to waltz their way up the rest of the drive to where Ella's mother waited. A happy smile on her face. Look at that whistle every time. How are we going to do this? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to get any better. That S is a problem. S. Maybe I've been speaking them wrong this whole time. Music's getting good though. I think we're reaching a crescendo. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Later that night, Ella lay tucked in her bed. Oh, she had the butterfly next to her. The beautiful book. The beautiful book. Here I Ella's eyelids fluttered as she tried to stay awake. I got a kid like that. Go to sleep. Ella's mother began to sing a familiar lullaby. Okay. I'm going to give this a crack. I'm just letting you know the word dilly's in there. Lavender's blue, dilly, dilly, lavender's green. When I'm the king, dilly, dilly, you shall be queen. Good one, mum. I'm not sure what kingdom you're in. But you're the mum, and you're not going to be the king. You can be the queen. Unless they've changed that already. It's 2021, they could have changed that. King, queen. Could be a social construct. I don't know. I don't know. We'll keep going. We have time to worry about this. We're up to Dilly Dilly and Lavender's Green. Oh yes, lavender's green, dilly dilly, lavender's blue. You must love me, for I love you. That's an interesting contract. I love you, you have to love me back. You don't get a say in it. I love you, you love me. That's it's, that's how it happens. I'm going to walk up to a stranger in the street and say, Hey, you, you, you right there. I love you. Now, because lavender's green and blue, it's a contract. You have to love me too. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. I'm gonna get slapped. Are we gonna get arrested? Spend some time. Hmm. Still on chapter one. This is a long book. This could take a while. Hmm. Yep, yep. As the song came to a close. Ella's parents stood up and began to blow out the candles. One by one, walking to the doorway, they turned to take another look at their sleeping angel. You know, they got angels in their house. What they do, murder their daughter while she's sleeping? Now yeah, she's an angel? That's horrendous. I don't know why you said that. Let's keep going. Book's taking a while. Very much taking a while. Come on, Cinderella. Get your stuff together. Hmm. However, sorrow can come to any kingdom, no matter how happy. And so it came to Ella's, for her mother was very ill. Hovering in the doorway of her father's study, Ella looked on as the doctor examined his patient. Hmm. Mum's not doing well. She's not doing well. I don't think it's going to end well. I'm not holding out much hope for Mum. Let's see if she gets better. She might get better. Could be surprised. Could be a twist. Hmm. Damn this hay fever. Gonna have to go and take an antihistamine. Or this could get awkward. Keep going. Hmm. Let's skip through this bit. Ella picked at her dress. Air curtains. She felt a pain of anger. Oh, she's dead. Hmm. Yep, she died. 
Spoiler. Spoiler. Oh, they got a sick room in their house. My goodness, how big is their house? They said it was quaint. Now they got a sick room. They got a specific room you can be sick in. I do. I do. Oh no, she's still alive. I lied. Ella, her mother said, her voice weak. It must seem it is time for me to leave. And we must say goodbye before I go. Tears began to run down Ella's cheeks. I don't want you to be sad, said her mother. Then she paused and a small smile spread across her face. Well, you can be sad for a little while, but then, whenever you think of me, I want you to smile, because I'll be smiling too, when I look at you. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. She's dead, and she's going to be smiling. Yep, that's what I want. Beautiful. Go away, hay fever. Bother me. Got no time for you. Got no time. Busy. Busy man. Mmm. No, it's not going to go away. I'm going to get rid of it. Give me a second. No idea if that worked. We'll figure it out. More coffee. Oh, that worked. That was good. That insulated cup. It's still hot. It's been sitting there 30 minutes. It's still hot. It could be hotter. It could be a lot hotter. But it's still hot. It's not cold. Don't see me drinking a cold coffee. Where were we? Mum's dead. Oh no. Near dead. In her sick room. In her quaint house. In her beautiful kingdom. With their princess daughter. Who has no subjects. We're up to date. Her mother nodded back. I want to tell you a secret. Oh. Oh. Mm, you must remember this secret. Ah, oh, have courage and be kind. Yeah, right. Okay. Kindness has power, Ella asked, confused. Yes, kindness has the power to make you broke. Or rich. Has the power to do a lot of things. My nose is still itchy. I'm going to scratch it. Yeah, that worked. I have to get rid of this hairy face of mine. Though I do like it. Mmm. Oh, mum's dead. Oh, reader. Oh, how the hell does a book have a narrator in it? The, the book has a narrator. So you narrate what you're reading. Anyway, oh reader, the loss of Ella's mother was a tragedy. But do you see what I mean? Such a wonderful woman. She would have made a wonderful fairy godmother. Though I know she watches over her dear sweet Ella, just as I do. Oh, we've done it. Chapter one, done. Chapter two. We're not going to do that. This is just a test run. This is just a test run of my setup. I don't know if that mic's working. I don't know if my voice is working. I don't know if anything's working. I really don't. But 
That'll do us. We're going to change to a game. We just wanted to test this setup. Test my voice. See how I got reading. He hear how I sound. Hope I sound good. I think I sound good. But I won't know until I hear it. Because my headphones. Not connected to my microphone. A smart man would do that. A smart person might think, you yeah, know, if I plug that into this, I could hear what's going on. But I like surprises. Big fan of surprises. Big fan. I'm going to be surprised in a second. Yeah, it's looking good. Thanks for stopping by. Chapter one done. End of prologue. It was good stuff.